Okay, so I uh, would like to introduce a tool to you that I've been using online. Uh, one particular problem you'll come up with regularly uh, reading in Japanese online is how to read Japanese names. Uh, so one uh, very useful site I've found is uh, this, kanji.reader.bz and uh, their Jinmei Kanji Jiten Yomikata Kensaku. So basically this is a search engine for Japanese names online. Now, um, as a little test, I've gone and found uh, the team list for this year's Urawa Reds in the J League in Japan. Um, we have their names in English, or at least in Romaji here, so we can read them. And uh, basically, going to use this name here for Shunki and see what kind of results we get from the, the Kanji G10. Uh, Shunki is not a particularly common name. Um, so we'll see what happens when we do the search. There we go, and it came up with a perfect result. Now when you get the results, you'll notice uh, it's got a couple of different things here, and the third thing they have here is Onaji Yomi no Betsu Kanji, so uh, Basically, this shows you other ways to write the same name, so you can read it the same way but using different kanji. Um, can be quite interesting to see other names um, regularly. Uh, some more popular names will have many, many different ways to read them, um, which makes it difficult. Here's a good example I have just here. Um, if we check this out. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure, Keisuke is read as Keisuke, but uh, when you see the results for Keisuke, you'll uh, see that Onaji Yomi no Betsu Kanji, uh, there are this many different ways to write the name Keisuke. So uh, if you're doing searches for Japanese names online and you found any of these different uh, ways to write the name and put it into kanji.reader.bz, it could give you the result and uh, let you know how to do the, how to uh, read the name. So excellent tool, kanji.reader.bz, uh, completely free, completely useful.